Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the Exiled Lands, in map square F6, building an alchemist's house, a place of work and residence for an expert alchemist. This build uses mods a decent amount in decoration, and the full list of mods and their load order can be seen, as usual, in the pinned comment below. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. You can get 68% of a two year deal plus a month free, when you visit nordvpn.org slash eredyt or use code eredyt at checkout. Stick around until the end of the video to learn more about how to browse the internet safely and securely with NordVPN. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with of course the base plate. I started off with the stable fence foundations, laying out a fairly large though simple base plate that I'll be building this house onto. When I'd place the fence foundations, I capped them off with insulated wooden ceilings on the interior areas and ketone ceilings on the exterior. Next for the walls. I used Keytan for the walls and built them two tiles high for the ground floor, with the main building being two floors high with a one tile high wall for the first floor, and a partial ceiling over the main workspace to create some extra depth and verticality in the main workspace. I also built two side rooms on the left and right sides of the build at one floor high. I'm personally not a huge fan of Keytan walls at most times, as I think they're a bit too weak when it comes to the exterior texture, I'd rather they were stone, but I think they're alright for this build, and they definitely help to avoid tonal monotony. Whilst this house is indeed built for an alchemist, it's a design and structure that can be really easily adjusted to be pretty much whatever you need, whether it's for smelting and blacksmithing, carpentry, tanning, or just a regular family home. I also added exterior staircases at the back of the build on either side of the open air gallery. These staircases allow access to of course the first floor bedroom, and whilst also avoiding any extra clutter in the main workspace. Stairs on the interior can work in some builds, and I think they make for quite nice architectural structures sometimes, but frankly there just isn't enough room in this build for them to not get in the way somehow, at least not with this current build plan. Next for the roof, I chose to use tiled roof pieces to fit the natural material palette of this build. The roof design for this build is quite easy, as the top floor is made up of basically rectangles that get smaller in size, so therefore it's really easy to just slap a roof on top of these rectangles and make it look fairly good. I also built some really simple roofs over the side rooms, just basically a pointed apex, and then added roof gables with sloped sides on the main roof for a bit more architectural variety. I then finally added doors and fences where necessary around the build.
Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the build, I've added some more roof accents and added a small outdoor workshop and a large brazier outside the build. I've lit the home with aquilonium braziers on the exterior and wall candles on the interior, which creates a soft yet warm lighting throughout. Entering the build, we first reach the main workspace, where all of the alchemy and potion mixing takes place. I focused on using the new alchemy workstations added with the recent Siptar update. These workbenches are actually quite nice, and whilst they are a bit thematically dark, they suit this build quite well. In the open air gallery is an outdoor mixing area, where ingredients can be boiled together, cooked or otherwise mixed in these dual cauldrons. In the right side room is another indoor prep area, where herbs, spices and other natural materials can be processed to be used in the main workspace. On the left side is a storage room, where more temperature sensitive ingredients can be stored within the freezing cold ice boxes. Heading upstairs, the catwalks allow for some extra verticality and views down to the workspace. This floor holds the master bedroom, a room of class and comfort, where the resident alchemist can rest after a day of hard work. The bedroom also has its own private balcony, looking over towards the volcano. And there we have it, an alchemist's house in the exiled lands, in map square F6. Thanks for watching, this is definitely quite a simple build, but I think the decoration really helps it to shine, and as I said earlier, this design can easily be changed and adapted to create a really nice home for any exile.
As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure you can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to access Netflix, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more regardless of where you live, all whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is the perfect choice for you. When you use my link or discount code you can get 68% off a 2 year deal, which comes out to $3.71 a month, an absolute bargain price for such a great service that I use almost every day. The software is a small download and it's easy to use one click and you're both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout to claim this huge discount and get the best VPN service available on the internet and also help me out a lot at the same time. As always, thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Again, don't forget you can get 68% off NordVPN when you use code EROTYT at checkout or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and pin comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sir Dialot, Randar, MK Pantheon, Sergeant Swede, and Shannara. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.